Hey, the hardest hit area in Port Wyneme is in the Wyneme Bay Club neighborhood. Our Michelle Geely has been checking out the damage in that part of town. Michelle. And another really sad story here in this neighborhood. Amy, take a look at the water line here along the wall of this home. It is just above my knee here. And as I walk around the corner, Oliver, hold on here a sec, excuse me. We've got a truck backing out behind us. We look at the water line on the garage door. This just shows how much water flowed into this senior community early this morning. Now there were about 60 houses that were impacted by this flood. Uh, the city manager tells me that a damage assessment team is walking through the neighborhood right now to try and find out exactly how many people have been affected. Rain video shows just how high the water got early this morning in this Port Wyneme senior living community. A wave of water splashed the camera lens as an emergency responder drove past the homes. This is the water line right here. Natalie Bayham stepped out of bed in her condo in Wyneme Bay around 3 a.m. and her feet were soaked. All of this in here had four inches of water. Fans are on high inside of Bayham's place. The water came in and just pushed everything to this garage wall. She lives about 200 feet from a flood channel. Officials say it overflowed during Thursday's deluge and led to 60 properties being evacuated in the neighborhood. Several of those people ended up at a Red Cross shelter at Oxnard College. One of our disaster team, uh, in fact, her home got flooded by about 18 inches. She's trying to get the water out. Unbelievable. She wants to come tonight, and it's like, Judy, stay, just stay home. Truman is one of the four-legged evacuees. He's at the shelter with cats Daphne and Roz and their owners. They're usually very loving and yeah. purring and crawling all over us, and now they're just in shock. Cecily Willis and her husband were awakened by firefighters in the senior community around 2 a.m. They left with nothing except for their beloved pets. My husband's in pajamas, and I'm in my sweats. <laughs> And that couple are, they are still trying to decide tonight whether they are going to stay in the shelter or perhaps go with friends who live in the valley in LA County. Now, one last look at the force of the water that came through here. Look at this Mercedes. It was pushed up on the curb right against this signpost here. And this car, the same story. The back wheels aren't even on the street anymore. That storm channel that we're referring to is right behind me there. That's the latest live in Port Wyneme. I'm Michelle Geely. Back to you. Wow. Hmm. All right, Michelle, thank you.